the owner of a popular West Michigan corn dog stand, has come under fire today after a controversial Facebook post Monday night on the Pronto Pups page. That post included a lengthy rant about topics ranging from mask wearing to defunding the police. 13 on your side's Elena Holland visited Grand Haven and talked to people reacting to that post. In Grand Haven today, many people lined up outside of Pronto Pups to get lunch. This comes a day after a controversial post on the business's Facebook page has a lot of people talking about what was said in that post. The post was written on the Pronto Pups Facebook page around 1130 last night and it has since been deleted. According to screenshots, the post was long and it began with remarks about wearing masks. It then went on to question the coronavirus response, criticize Black Lives Matter, talked about the Michigan militia and more. Later, a post was made saying the original post was intended for the owner's personal Facebook page and the Pronto Pups page was deactivated shortly after. As I mentioned, the business was still quite busy today, many talking about the post. Some said the messaging was wrong and it should never have been shared publicly or private. I think it's going to draw unnecessary attention to Grand Haven and I think it's going to um, obviously damage parts of his business. But I think people make mistakes and hopefully he can uh, come out publicly and just say, hey, this was wrong and the opinion was um, probably wasn't my best judgment. Some people we spoke with said they knew the owner, Carl Nelson, personally. A few people came to Pronto Pups today to show their support, like this man who bought 20 Pronto Pups to go. Him and I disagree on a lot of things politically. But this man gives the shirt off the, his back if he could. You know, so his personal views is his personal views. His business ethics has nothing to do with his personal views. The Pronto Pups Facebook page is now active once again with a message from the owner. In that message, he says, I never thought the post would upset so many people. I removed the post. He apologized to anyone that may have seen that post. He also went on to say he was fearful for his staff due to what he called mean messages and phone calls. Today, Nelson was the one working in the stand. We spoke with him, but he declined further comment. Reporting in Grand Haven, Elena Holland, 13 on your side.